Hi everyone, Jack here. I have not changed much inside the forge. I still got some clutter outside that I need to clean up. But I've got your name, Violet's Forge. And there are some more crafting tables here that I have to either clean up or remove. This is Little Mai's Tavern. I added the pub sign. Oh yeah, I added the blacksmith sign right over here. And what else? Got the nice little market stall here. General goods store. I haven't got that labeled yet. Another crafting bench right here. Looks like a bear, but it's not. It's just a stuffed and this is the open market cafe. <laughs> I put this food thing down and there ended up being a compi underneath. <laughs> and let's see, this one is for fish. Wendy's Cafe. It does say tea, but they didn't have a coffee sign because I don't think they have coffee back then. I uh, got a couple of awnings. I still gonna need to put a few more over here. Some nice benches and tables. A couple of comfortable chairs around coffee tables. A couple of bonsai trees. Some fire pits. And a gazebo up here. Still gotta get it lighted, lit for uh, the evening. But I have my uh, fountain here. I don't think it spits water though. I've tried a few ways to get it to work, but it might just be me. Yeah, I tried to put a gate over top of this, that way I could walk right out to the edge, but it didn't allow me for some reason. So that down there is our, I guess you would call it our main entrance. So this is the main road through the town of Burton. Another side street here. Going to put... I'm not sure what I'm going to put here. Maybe some trees, some decorative items. Up there is going to be the temple. Down over this hill is Thick Chick's Armory. Got an ammo shelf, flak, ghillie, and desert cloth armor stands, fur, chitin, and hide, along with some shoes and some tables. I had originally planned to make this metal, but it really stuck out like a saw thumb. So now down over here, I am eventually going to put some houses. Not really sure the design yet. And my I always get lost in this area. I gotta put some torches around so I can see. Shh. Where is my should be right around here. Oh there it is. <laughs> Need something to drink. It's coming along nicely. I'm still trying to work things in. Now here is the true main entrance. Because it really comes from down, down south. I've got a nice fence around. Another side entrance to the hills. It's not completely finished yet. Got another entrance up into the hill. And this one goes all the way along this cliff face right over to here. Now, the unfortunate problem is that when you get to that cliff face, 
Just about anything large that can fall in, can fall in. But for the most part, I am completely surrounded by walls and gates. And apparently I still go to the bathroom anywhere. Even with all this civilization, I just take a dump on the rug, like a bear. <laughs> so I have to bring this street here over to there. Which means... The only way to do that... Match it up. But I never do things standard, of course. singles like this, so... my sense of aesthetics. Oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I know. Really? Yeah, that triangle's not going to do it. has been right in front of me all along. Smart like a stick. Twice as bright. Come on. There. Turn from three to two. OCD. <laughs> I don't think they... <laughs> Can you imagine a rapper named that? Notorious OCD? <laughs> That's actually funny. Uh, let's see. I think I have too many of these types of braziers. I don't think this one is needed. Not here. this that just makes me... Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah, 
goes too far above. I think going above bothers me than going below. And of course for continuity, and crazy, let's put one on each end. right there. above. And no way am I going one higher for that. If we just had a vertical or a horizontal. Surprised nobody made one. Yeah, horizontal would be nice. Oh well, what can I do? Well, let's put those back. You know, I can't make a mistake this time. Pretty much the same height. I hope. Because <laughs> that will bug me, bug me, bug me. There. Alright, so this is what it looks like during the day. standing on a table. I'm going to go up there and look down and see what it looks like. That'd be smart too. As long as there's no gigas out here, I should be reasonably safe. is real. Not bad. Spring it up. Let me get a picture. I guess we'll call that a build for today. In reality, I want to put my keep somewhere down in that area there, or maybe even up here. The problem is, there is a locked off area. I think it's right up here. Yep, yeah, right here. It's this whole area. I think there's a, not a spawn, but a, um, a loot crate drop. Oh, 
Well, there's the lava lands down there. All right, well, I figured it out. <laughs> Apparently, um, because it's a drawbridge and I want to be able to get down there, I can't block off that area. So if I put the drawbridge right here, and then I try to lift it to go down, I've blocked it. Because the drawbridge will be up and I can't go through. However, if I put it on that side, I can block off this whole area. I mean, players would still be able to get up, but I could take dinos right across this, like a bird, and fly off the edge, which is what I wanted. So now I can open it right here, go down, and close it. Oh, I must you got to do it in the middle of it. <laughs> you can't do it in the middle of it, or it'll mess it completely up. No, I wanted to close it. Oh, it was closing, and I stopped it. <sighs> so I can still come out here. It's not going to block anything off, but it is going to allow me to go across. This might be a good system to have if I were to have a bridge. You know, that skyhold build I wanted to do. Did I show you inside the tavern yet? I probably did. Cheese table, Viking shields in more places. Oh, I still haven't put more chairs here. I gotta fix that. The beer room. Most important place in a Viking story. Our mascot. Really? Is that what you do? Smart. The tavern keeper's place. Still gonna add more clutter. She can rent out a little breakfast area to eat at. The main bedroom with the king sized bed. <laughs> I am not going to lay down on that again. I had to destroy it last time. Got a balcony. Second smaller room with a low lying bed, so this is more of the cheaper room. So we add more clutter. Got some tables and chairs. I haven't put anything out on this balcony yet. But I will. And the attic room. I don't think I got two beds. Oh, I do get two beds. Got a chair for when they're not speaking to each other, but they can still see each other and say hi if they want to. I don't know. <laughs> and I did try to make this like the Dragon's Reach. Not Dragon's Reach. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of the inn that Holda has in Skyrim. It was inspired by that because it's got that upper open area here. It's got a small balcony off the main room, but it's not this honking big. So I was able to put in a lot more than I should have been able to. They did have a side room that was a little longer than this one is. I probably should have stopped, reshaped it, and had this stairwell, and then stopped right here, come out, and then in, and made this kitchen longer. But I was sort of suppressed by the amount of space I have.
And I have a landscaping mod section, so I should be able to start adding some stuff. I won't be able to add grass mounds or anything like that, but I can add little bushes like that there. Bonsai trees. I think there are larger versions available, but I'm not sure. That <laughs> damn copy messes me up. I thought it was... I haven't eaten yet, so I thought it was my stomach. <laughs> yeah, it's not, still not too bad. Uh, too not, not too bad this time. I've I can't say I've outdone myself, but I've done a lot better than I normally did. I normally give up by now. But the plan is to move that fence right out over to that peak there. And completely cut off this valley and maybe put the manor house move those that fence out there and wall off that upper area but put the manor house right on this peak maybe put the temple right here I don't know you know, it's going to be the rich part of town type thing. And down there, I'm going to put... I didn't expect to get on top like that. <laughs> I am going to put a lower area, wall it off nicely, clean it up, keep some of the, most of the trees, and make some pens for dinos. You know, put up some stables and just be an all around huge bloody city. Huh. Build is definitely not over yet. <laughs> I have a lot more work to do. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour of Burton. Thank you for coming and stopping by to watch this.